just love you. I hope we wake up. We gotta be shiny people, and we can only be shiny by uh, love. So love from love, hope from hope, and uh, peace from our uh, Prince of Peace. And he's bringing forth new understandings. He is the Rose of Sharon and the Lily of the Valley. He wants us to soar high above, farther up than we've ever gone before. So come away with me. Got to leave the safety of the shores. Deep calls unto deep. And uh, so praise the Lord and uh, love from love, hope from uh, hope. And it's time. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name, and the name above all names, the name of love, the name of our majesty and majesty, bless the people. Let your face shine upon them mightily, and uh, let there be a revelation within your hearts of his love, because that is the best <laughs> news that I could bring. So these are days of Elijah, days of Shiloh, days of Joshua, water, steam, and ice. Uh, same guy, according to different prophecies. Uh, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, it's the same guy. It's Christ. It's Emmanuel. He's got hundreds of names. And uh, uh, in many cases, uh, names were given like Shiloh. Uh, I used to believe Jesus was Shiloh, but the problem is it says, and he has eyes red and dull of wine. That's an alcoholic that was predicted for the end days. I fit that bill. Uh, my name is Daniel, and I'm from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. So it's time to light the candle of hope, and light the candle of truth, and light the candle of great expectations here at this uh, time of uh, the trial of all flesh. Revelation 3 foretold. Uh, COVID that's come bringing God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation, not to change. So it's time that we rock and roll to the passionate tune of love. And uh, so it's let there be further enlightenment for all desiring it. And once the heirs of uh, the Lord's righteousness come into such enlightenment, uh, those faithful few of the morrow uh, of the narrow way, they'll never again be afraid to trust their unknown futures to the living God of uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Ishmael. And uh, so praise God that he's always been just in all of his ways. But then children will then rest in the fact that he'll constantly be meeting their needs uh, even if their desires don't come forth. To, to feed their very own greed. But the Lord uh, takes care of us. And then those servants of our perfecter of uh, faith will have common sense to understand that the, the psalms of Christ that I keep saying here at this channel, uh, they are most lofty and bring forth glory unto the Lamb uh, to lift up His greatness and, and to bring forth something special within our hearts if we will get in tune with exalting our beloved. For he is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored. And it, it is something very special that we need to embrace. And uh, so as we worship and lift up his name, it magnifies that returning illumination of God. Uh, and uh, uh, that will bring forth precious first fruits. Uh, unto the last generation of earth so the Joshua generation can go in and claim the kingdom age that is ahead. For it is like Eden that is ahead of us. So nor does the loving eyes of our the sup of the ages is Christ Jesus, nor does he ever fail to see that the, the spirit-breathed word that I am uh, preaching is of his highest exaltation, and it does have a place of honor uh, before him, for it's always been his very own spiritual law that the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. And so it's time for declarations of much salvation, for his arm has never been too short uh, not to be able to save. So therefore let salvation's redemption and its sanctification uh, be adored by our, our highest Lord. Now be let that be proclaimed amongst all people. 
from afar evermore without ceasing. Uh, and let these precious latter years of the Jubilee also be declared uh, by all those enlightened through Isa Yeshua, Jesus, our Lord, because he is the flesh of God's spirit and the bone of his soul. And as the light of paradise, Yeshua, he shines forth his brightest uh, radiance of his glory of love uh, as a beacon of truth in the darkest gross darkness of the ignorance of love. And nor should any soul ever remain ignorant anymore, for he was supernaturally brought forth. The Lord was uh, to be the greatest charity imaginable by the blinding brightness of the spirit of grace uh, for, the re for the rescue of a confused race that's always been sent sick unto the grave. Yea, let all the earth resound with constant praise as the heavens echo the, the very best glad news of that Passover land. And uh, the, the news is great that uh, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, means this. They are one, united in love. They are, their name is love. First uh, John 4, 7 calls God, that is his name, love. Uh, for our beloved so loved the world that he gave his only begotten love. So whosoever would love should not perish, but have everlasting life and everlasting love. That is our inheritance openly that the Lord is giving to us all in this hour of his kingdom age coming that tears down all imaginations, all kingdoms of man's uh, thoughts not based solely on his uh, unconditional love. Jeremiah 1, 10, AIT 2. Uh, so praise God that God so incarnate, so loved man that he gave us his most plus, precious gift, his very own blood which gives eternal life unto any soul unwrapping it with gladness whether we know him or not uh, by name is irrelevant if we have our love alive the bible says he is living in us and praise god that that is true and uh, it's additionally clear that happy souls delivered by his love will become exceedingly excited while while receiving forgetfulness about uh, uh, within his forgiveness uh, by becoming covered by the shed blood that was slain, uh, was slain before the foundation of the earth for all of us, for all people of love. And he gave of himself until it hurt, and it hurt very badly. Uh, so as a result, the amazing love of that shining star of stars always loves the unlovable while pardoning things that men would gladly execute other offenders over. We have been so unloving, and it's time to return to his kind of love. And through the example of his deepest adoration, our dove of glory, he now swiftly swoops on down to express the gospel truth that since the course of godly love between anyone never seems to be running smoothly uh, uh, at all times, Forgiveness is love's final form. It is one and the same thing. Fortunately, there's never been a cure for godly love or any way to make it disappear. That's a good thing. Uh, when hatred arises as, cruel, as a cruel bully, uh, trying to force it to be cowardly enough to flee into the forgotten shadows. For all love is vanquished by a, a succeeding kind of love since such is the highest law that our gracious Creator has ever given unto mankind. And with that, I'm going to tell you, it's time that, you know, we need to have His Word be a light to us. Maybe we need to stick something in our brain, but know that the number of the Lamb, 777, is indelibly stamped over every single soul so that there is no uh, danger of the 666 at all, people. You are sealed as long as you keep your love light on it and be as a child with your love as a verb. You'll be okay. And if don't be too hard on yourselves either because if you go two steps forward and one step back, you know, you got to fake it till you make it sometime. Uh, all of us have. Uh, but... Uh, we do mess up and really no one, all like sheep, have gone astray. 
So love from love and uh, know that our Lord God sees us not as we are, but as we will be. He has faith in us. That is a wild thought, but it is most true.